Does everyone have a creative mind? That was the primary question from today. When we think about whether or not we have a creative mind, I know we sometimes uh, neglect to see how creative we are. We think about all the problems we face. We think about uh, our lack of options for ourselves. We think about how we get stuck when trying to find new uh, products for our business or new approaches to um, getting something done. And it feels as if we are lacking in creativity. And this happens to everybody. Even the most creative people will often feel stuck. But then we compare ourselves to folks that are often considered to be creative and we don't see ourselves like them. We might think about folks like Einstein or Picasso or Ella Fitzgerald or Martin Luther King or Gandhi or Beethoven or Oprah Winfrey and we see how they are able to generate and manifest such unique paths and ideas that we we feel as if we can't reach those types of heights and then we say to ourselves we're not creative the truth is if you just take a look at what it is that they basically did to generate those creative ideas and paths for themselves what they did is they went beyond convention they went beyond expectations they went beyond the normal approaches the normal beliefs about something in other words they ventured out beyond what we call the ordinary world in our class right and one way to think of the ordinary ordinary world is to think of how our brain is similar to a computer in the fact that through genetics and through experience our brain becomes programmed or conditioned to have certain beliefs about the world. How do you write a paper? What's the formal process or the correct process for manufacturing a certain device? What's the right way to make a song? Or what's, the, what's a good song sound like? So in order for us to be creative, we need to also go beyond this sort of ordinary programming. And it turns out that we can. And you do this all the time. You're always shifting perspective. You're always generating new ideas or combining old ideas into new ones. Most of the time, we just don't appreciate it. Think about the last time you played a board game. I bet you you exhibited creativity when you played. Uh, or when you were with friends and you told a joke. Or when you cooked a meal and had to improvise and use different utensils, use different tools use different ingredients. Think about how you dress yourself. I bet you at least one time recently you came up with an interesting outfit with the way you matched your shoes or your pants or your shirt or etc. Think about how you arranged your room or how you organize your house or how you organize your desk. Have you taken a new path to work? Did you try a new restaurant recently? Um, there's lots of ways in which you probably have exhibited creativity, but just didn't notice or didn't really appreciate the fact that you were exercising that faculty of your mind. If you can't think of any of those examples for yourself, think about when you were a kid. Think about all the times in the backyard you were playing around, you know, pretending to, to be battling demons or um, pretending to uh, have a family when you were holding rocks. Um, saying this little rock is my son and this big rock is is my spouse and here's a dragon coming in to to ruin our lives and when mom and dad came and asked you what you're doing you had an elaborate explanation of what it is you were doing you probably messed around with play-doh and crayons and and all sorts of things that exhibited your inherent creativity so what can we do now to be as creative as we once were uh, one thing is to continually and consciously exercise our creative faculties because as we get older we exercise them less instead of exploring and generating new ideas we're more concerned about being right and avoiding being wrong two is we can develop courage and hope because when we're trying to be creative we are venturing into the unknown we are giving ourselves time to do things that may not lead us anywhere so we need to develop courage and have hope that it's worthwhile to spend our time this way, to do something we're, that we're not too sure will work out in spite of the possible criticism that we might get from ourselves or from other people. One way to develop that courage and hope is to continually stay motivated. Now, if you are motivated, if you really want to make positive changes in your life, if you really want to, to design new products for yourself or find new ways of making money, then you will be creative. For the most part, we are we all feel that way at some point. The problem is maintaining that fire, maintaining that motivation. But I promise you, there are ways in which you can do that.